My name is Julia Reed Nichols and I'm the founder of Pinups on Tour. Can you tell me what inspired you to create Pinups World Tour? Yeah, so Pinups on Tour started as a volunteer project inside our nation's VA hospitals. I was working in Hollywood as an actress, which meant I was auditioning a lot in Hollywood and had a lot of free time because I wasn't working very much. And I started asking my friends if they wanted to volunteer and put on shows with me. Uh, we started in Southern California. People started asking us to go around the country. And now we've been to 48 states. Wow. Yeah. And I saw, you know, hundreds of shows already. How, how does it feel that that small idea became this? Uh, it feels really good. I think that one of the things I always hoped would happen is that Pinups on Tour would connect with a community of like-minded Americans that really believe in thanking our veterans. Um, we believe in patriotism, not politics at our show, so it's a place where everybody can come together and celebrate our American heroes. Can you tell me about the show? Yeah, our show is a World War II style variety and burlesque show dedicated to supporting our military heroes. So we do favorite numbers from the 1940s to the 1960s. It's very similar to what you would have seen on vaudeville stages across the country. I saw, uh, when I was researching, I saw not only you entertain uh, veterans, but you uh, uh, shout out people who have fallen. How important is it to, you know, not only entertain, but to remember as well? Absolutely. I think anyone that comes from a military family knows that there's a lot of different prices that are paid for our freedoms. Some of them are very well recognized, some of them aren't as well recognized. And one thing about a pinups on tour show is that we are part of the military community. We do understand those sacrifices. And so we like to acknowledge them at our show because those people are the reason we're able to have so much fun. How does it feel for you? to bring joy into veterans' lives? It, it's honestly my joy. I get a selfish amount of joy out of spending time with our veterans. The heart of our organization is the one-on-one -on -one time that we get at the veterans' homes and VA hospitals. This is the magic. Um, all the other fun, all the other sparkles is just to get those one-on-one -on -one moments to happen and to remind those veterans that there are so many Americans thinking about them. Is there any uh, veteran stories that uh, come up yeah, I, there's tons. I can tell you one that stands out to me. It's Wings Over Wendy's. It's an event in California. It's a Wendy's restaurant that opens up its doors for a free breakfast to World War II veterans. Um, and I got invited to sing at it. And I was doing all my typical World War II songs, including I'll Be Seeing You, which is, you know, I'll be seeing you in all the old familiar places. Um, so I was singing it and I saw this man in the corner and he just started bawling. Uh, so after my performance, I asked him, you know, why? Um, and he was like, oh, I can't wait to tell you. He goes, when I was in the service, I had a lot of buddies, but one of my buddies had a super hot girlfriend back and when he got to call home to her which phone calls were very very precious during world war ii he would sing i'll be seeing you except he changed all the words to dirty lyrics so it's i'll be squeezing you in all the old familiar places and our song took him right back to his friend um that he lost during the war so it reminded him of the good times and that's the power of what we do is that we remind people of people that they've lost or people in their families or stories and I'm really glad that we're a place where they get to share those. I know veterans who are getting older, it, you know, it's tough sometimes they feel lonely. How is it, you know, giving them a moment of, you know, importance? Yeah, I think they definitely deserve more than a moment of importance. I think they deserve um, everybody's thanks. We have a lot of freedoms in this country. And if the little thing that we can do is spend time with our veterans, we should do it. Uh, joy, happiness, community, these are all keys in longevity. And providing them to our veterans is a gift that I'm so happy to give. What are uh, some of your favorite songs to perform? 
Yeah, so I love anything that gets people moving. We've been doing a Tina Turner tribute in our show. We recently lost her. She's such a legend. I am always inspired by all of our ladies in Sparkles. And even though we don't get close to her, we like to pay tribute to her, which has been a great number this year because um, let me tell you, America loves Tina Turner. We love the Andrews Sisters. We do a big mashup in our show of Andrews Sisters music, including Bugle Boy, that most people would recognize. So you're you're not alone when you go on this tour. How is it everyone else uh, who performs with you? Yeah, so our group is based in Vegas. We have a couple entertainers that go across the country. Um, and then we pull in talented performers from all over America. So no pinups on tour show is really the same. You get different acts every time. Um, so even if you saw our show last year, you're gonna get a different show the next year. Um, but yeah, we always have some key players from Vegas that hitch on for the ride. And how is it, uh, how has the tour been so far? This year has been amazing. I know everybody knows we went through a pandemic, which was really tough, not only on touring organizations, but on the veterans' homes we visit. These facilities were locked down. They weren't allowed to have visitors. The staff wasn't allowed to have volunteers helping them. So it increased the burden on the staff and increased the loneliness for the veterans. And we're really seeing a lot of those restrictions lift, which are allowing us to get back in and really celebrate our American heroes again. Yeah, what were the challenges during uh, the lockdown? Uh, there were so many challenges <laughs> during the pandemic. <laughs> uh, so like everyone else, you know, um, large gatherings weren't such a great idea. So we paused that for a little while. We focused when we did tour, when that did reopen up in states where it was safe to do so, avoiding states with higher infection rates. You know, the goal is always to keep our audience and our cast members safe um, while still serving our missions. So we tried to balance all of that the best we could. Um, you know, and I will say there's no right way to handle a pandemic. We all did it once. Hopefully we never have to do it again. And I'm just so glad to be out of it. What are some of the things that motivate you? Uh, I'm motivated by seeing people smile. It is the mission written on my heart. Everything I do in this world is to bring people joy. And I wanna see them smile from the bottom of their hearts. And I think making people feel appreciated, reminding people that they matter um, is a very important thing to do because we all matter. We all have stories to tell, um, whether you're a veteran or not. Yeah. Uh with traveling you yeah. know traveling gets tough at times and then you're always helping people hearing their stories what do you do to help your own mental health yes uh well you know it's been a challenge we this is my 10th year touring and there's been years i've had mental breakdowns the entire summer and then there's years like this year where i feel like i'm on a zen cloud and doing great um i think it just you know i think you don't get to plan the breakdowns you don't get to plan all the things that might pop up and interfere with a tour, but what you can control is your attitude. Um, you can make your body move every day. You can try to eat good food um, and just keep as balanced as you can. And cr quite honestly, I crash land in Vegas at the end of every tour. I like, I crash land and I have to like go into full on repair yoga meditation mode. <laughs> Where do you want to see the tour in say the next three to five years? Um, so we are part of a nonprofit, the Drawing Room Foundation. I would love to see that grow. I would love to see myself be less involved in the day-to-day -day leadership and really have a committee of veterans and veteran-owned businesses and performers and people that really have an investment in our organization running it. Because it's not about me, it's about the veterans we serve. It's about the performers that we get to share with the world. Um, and I would like to have them be a larger part of creating our future. Can you tell me about the foundation? Yeah, our foundation was formed um, in 2021. It's called the Drawing Room Foundation and it is dedicated to creating community through arts. So not only do they fund our work with pinups on tour, they also provide direct artist grants. Um, they've provided artist housing for residencies in Vegas. We had a creative space in Vegas. We do fundraisers 
all different kinds of stuff. Um, but the main goal is really to empower artists to create projects like Pinups on Tour in their own communities.